but I would say she introduced me to TikTok, downloaded TikTok on my phone, and I still look at the videos. Once you have a sixth sense about doing something, just sit back and think about it. I'm from the Cooperative University of Kenya. I studied with Purity Wangeshi since class one. We've known each other for more than 10 years. And uh, she has been a nice friend. She has been, I don't know how to say it, but wherever she is, I want to say that we have, we have her so much and we have so rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you, Makofi Kwake Tafanali. We also have friends of uh, hers who are there, quite a um, number of them. Mama Pige Makofi Tafanali. And now, as a best. Time the evening starts and the afternoon starts. It starts at four. Yeah. So, good evening. We are so honored and privileged to be here. It's a tough time, but then we are glad that the Lord has been faithful this far. I would want to introduce my seniors. Uh, I have come with them. We are family. And I would want them to mention their names because they are here. And uh, yeah, we'll pick it up from there. Director of uh, KMC, the Registrar, faculty, uh, students, and uh, former alumni, uh, all protocols observed. Uh, good evening. My name is uh, Daniel Karenga. I'm uh, an anchor to Purity. And uh, one thing that we want to say is that uh, we are happy and uh, very much feel uh, the uh, love that uh, KMC has uh, provided during, th during this uh, trying time. And I know that uh, you'll continue work, uh, working with us until Saturday when uh, we get to the uh, Purity and Geshi and uh, she'll rest. Right. Thank you so much. smiling uh, what we have seen in the media what has happened it's so clear as a parent as a brother I don't think uh, this is something which is meant to happen again to a child or to any other person I have seen it in the news that on that fateful Friday she went to Kiambu and apparently we all come from that I don't know why death followed us to where we live. I also saw that uh, she had gone to pick up her items. Before you closed school, her mother did call me. I understand, I don't know whether it's the position, but whenever you close school, you will move in with your belongings. I was meant to come and pick up items. And, we, and I go with them to my place. That did not happen, because I, she later, the mom later called me. She told me that purity, got someone to keep her items safe. And that was the case. So we are so sad. And what I can say is, may justice prevail. We are not going to sleep until justice prevails. Thank you. I would say she introduced me to TikTok, downloaded TikTok on my phone, and I still look at the videos. I still 
see what she used to do and the pain comes as if it was just yesterday and I'm, I'm so honored and privileged from the school perspective thank you so much for the support you've given us this far we are really really appreciative and I would urge all the students the ladies and the men as well that once you have a sixth sense about doing something, just sit back and think about it. Because if you do that, then you're able to make a sober judgment. And I want you to know that God loves you. God embraces you as you are. You don't need any man's affirmation. You need to be affirmed by God. And there is no life outside God. That's what I would leave you with. And thank you so much for the support. Thank you. A special thank you to Joy. She has kept on tabs with me and kept on asking how far are you, how, what are the arrangements and things like that. And I'm so grateful and honored. May God bless you and keep you.